A section of U.S. Highway 191 west of Pinedale is considered to be one of the worst places in the state for wildlife vehicle crashes. The highway crosses the Trapper's Point Migration Corridor, where between 3,000 pronghorn and 2,500 mule deer migrate each spring and fall. The Wyoming Department of Transportation estimates vehicle wildlife collisions at Trapper's Point cost approximately $500,000 each year in vehicle and wildlife resource costs. One answer to the problem has come in a $9.7 million project paid for by the State of Wyoming Transportation Fund, constructing six underpasses and two overpasses. Wyoming Game and Fish Pinedale Wildlife Management Coordinator Scott Smith. Annually we would have uh, in the neighborhood of 140 to 150 animals struck by vehicles in this 12 to 13 mile stretch. Antelope by nature are, are leery of going through tunnels or underneath the uh, highway like mule deer will do. So these overpasses, these arched structures over top of the highway were constructed for the antelope to move across and over top of the highway. The overpasses are the first of its kind in Wyoming and the first ever built specifically for pronghorn anywhere. The project also includes an eight-foot-tall wildlife fence on both sides of the highway for the entire 12-mile-long corridor to funnel animals through the crossings. The overpasses are 150 foot wide with earthen berms along both sides to block the view of the highway below. Eight-foot-tall wildlife fencing along the top of the berms prevent animals from accidentally jumping off the overpass. The entire dirt surface has been planted with native grasses and shrubs to match the surroundings. So, are deer and antelope using the structures? Uh, yes, it's been uh, very successful. This is the first fall that uh, they've been in place, and to date, somewhere over 2,000 antelope have crossed this structure that we're at right here on their way south to the uh, winter ranges. Next spring, they'll repeat this movement heading back north to uh, where they'll spend the summer. The project is a collaboration between the Wyoming Department of Transportation, the Wyoming Game and Fish, the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service, the U.S. Forest Service, and Bureau of Land Management. Underpasses were installed a few years back along Highway 189 south of Kemmerer, reducing wildlife vehicle collisions there dramatically. This is Ray Hageman with the Wyoming Game and Fish Department.